Hello Capricorns, it is new moon season, August 2017, have a new moon in Virgo, at the same time we are having a total solar eclipse, just had a partial lunar eclipse, and Mercury is in retrograde. So we are having some extremely intense energy happening smudge your cards. Um, there's just a lot of, I don't know if how things are working out for everyone, but there's just some serious, some serious, I just feel like I should smudge these. Everything seems a little bit more intense than normal. That's a good way to put it. Um, and it, it's because our, our planetary system right now is really working together to do some awfully wild things and you're going to get to experience them um, firsthand which is amazing but the things that you can't see you're still going to be experiencing and so and that's reflected in your everyday life and so this is where tarot comes in handy Capricorn to help you kind of manage those things because some of the things are happening because you created them and some of the things are happening because the moon is pushing you this or this way or that to manifest whatever else it is that you need. So let's get a general energy spread for Capricorns for the new moon season of August 2017. Capricorn mid month. New moon season. One more time. Right. I need one more time. Okay. Past, present, future. Past, past, past. In the future. All right. So, okay. <sighs> See what we've got going on here. Capricorn. Final outcome. Venus. Empress. Love. Why is that? Well, in your recent past, you had the strength to call upon something that you were wishing for. But here you are, Earth sign, Queen Stature the mother of things, also feeling off balance. And I just said the mother and carrier is your base, the higher font. You know, it could be marriage, could be counseling, something like that. But you got your wishes granted in reverse. Now, normally I say, well, this means that you didn't get your wishes granted. I don't feel, because it doesn't always mean, well, just because it's in reverse, it means the exact opposite. It's whatever the energy of the card is reading for you at that moment and this time with it being in reverse I feel like your energy is off balance there's something that's not working here and it's causing the need for this energy to happen or this is a person who came into your life and caused you to be off balance because you are feeling defeated or were in your recent past. So why? Okay, right in your dead center, you've got wishing upon a star. But look at this. Both your wishing upon a star card and the wishes granted card are in reverse. What does that mean? Is this the, is this the universe or spirit or whoever trying to tell you that you're not wishing for something that's in your highest good? Because you can wish all you want and you can manifest all you want, but if the universe or spirit says no, the answer is no. You know, this is something you're working towards, or it could be at work or a work situation or creating business or whatever. This symbolizes some kind of work, and it could be physical work, it could be, you know, spiritual work, it could be thought process work, whatever. You're working on it, you're wishing upon a star. Then you have a King of Cups. This is a water sign. But it's also in reverse. These four cards right here being in reverse 
along with you have the Knight of Wands here as your base. So this is a passionate entrance. So did we have a water sign enter Capricorn? And it made you one to wish upon a star for these things. And you were working for it and had the strength for it. But it just... Look at how this emperor... Oh, I called this the Hierophant earlier. This is the emperor. Look at this. Emperor, empress. Here's the Hierophant. And they're mirroring each other mirroring each other on top of this Knight of, Knight of Wands. So this passionate entry that's happening right now in your center, coming through, you have a king here, Emperor, Empress. Look at how this Emperor sits up and looks at all of this. Looking at all of this. And I want to say judgment or that this person, this father figure, this really grounded, steady, the person who you would look to to be in charge. I just don't necessarily feel like he's pleased because you're not, it's not coming out, you know, upright is I guess the best way to put it. So then in your future, look at this. This is the sneak. This is the sneaky card. This is someone who's trying to get away with something, but look, it's in reverse next to the higher font. So all the things I said earlier about the contract, justice. I think this is someone who's trying to get away with something. Look at his hand. Nope. That's not going to happen. Not letting that happen. So there's going to be some kind of justice that's going to stop someone who's trying to be a sneak, to take something. And that's why I feel like the Venus here ends up in reverse. Because this is the empress. This is the the all, the love of the self, the love of everything. I mean, this is all about that feeling of oneness within whatever. Because it's Venus, you know. I just feel like whatever this is that's going to stop, there's going to be a block like, nope. So, Okay. Okay, let's back up. This is a new moon. This is the new moon right now. This is your new cycle. So you had this cycle that was happening right here, this wishing and this not getting your hopes and, you know, all this stuff. You're working on it. But then comes a time where some person, whether it's you or someone else, is going to come in and say, stop. Because someone's trying to get away with something here. And it's going to deal with matters of the heart. Now, matters of the heart doesn't have to mean relationship with another person. It can be your relationship with your work, whatever. However, this resonates for you. Okay. But I just love how these two are mirroring each other. And I feel like they're working together. See, pointing straight to the work card. You have them both the male and female signs of the fullness, the love of the, the self pointing straight at this, like it's an arrow, this fiery new beginning, but right here in your near future, there needs to be a moment where they go, mm, and they stop this sneaky behavior. I can't even touch upon this. this is the queen of wands. You have another queen here. It's a very beautiful spread, but you have both earth energy and fire energy. And I do want to get more clarification, <clears throat> but basically, I'll take that one. This is a good tarot. Basically, what we got going on here something's gone. Something that you had, Capricorn, planned on, wanted, hoped for, it's causing an imbalance. It's causing everything to turn upside down. And that's not what we were looking for. They, you know, we weren't looking for an imbalance. We were looking for our hopes and dreams or, you know, our wishes to be granted. Here you are. First card that came out, transformation. This is in the regular tarot. This would be the death card. But this, I just feel like, I don't want to say that what you were hoping for was the wrong thing, but I just feel like 
there needs to be, there's something else better. Call. I've never seen that card before. Look at that. Call. Call to the higher self. Transform. Call upon angels. Call upon spirit. Call upon yourself to know what is good for you. Is this good for you? If it was good for you, would you be feeling this way? Would this mother and father figure be so involved if this was good for you? Call upon the higher self to have this transformation and trust that it's going to lead you in the right direction. You also have the four of air, I mean the four of fire. So this is, you know, putting it like that, this is passionate communication with yourself. Call upon your higher self. King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. So this, this could very well be a partnership because you have a lot of male, female, male, female, male, female, all the way around, or, you know, energies of a male, energies, you know, feminine, whatever. And you have a couple of new entrances here. Right here is the Page of Air, Page of Air. But look at these wings, okay? This is, this is an air, this is air energy. This is angel. This is the higher self. This is the, this is the you. This is the now. This is the swift. This is the needed. And you have the page of air twice. This is a message. Call upon your higher self. Have this transformation. This block is necessary. It is. There's a sneak in your life. Somewhere, somebody, something. You're trying to work, trying to work. See the cards that are popping out here? You're trying to work on something, and there's a sneak in your life who comes across as this passionate, fiery energy. Look at me. I'm just so sweet. I'm not going to cause any problems. Just joking. Are causing problems in the plan here. Call upon the higher self. Heed the message. Heed it. Call. Transform. Let's see what the fairies have to say. Fairies, clarify please for Capricorn. New moon, August 2017. Fairies, please clarify for Capricorn. More, please. Thank you. There's one. One more. Thank you. Okay. So, what do we have here from before I even get into that? Can I just say clarity here? This is having realistic cautions. Have caution. Ah, huh. look here. So we're talking about heeding the message, calling upon the higher self to have this inner transformation. Then you get change your viewpoint. Change your viewpoint. I love spinning this card around because it makes sense. Any way you look at it, you can see something different. Transform by changing your viewpoint. Oh my goodness. Inner transformation. <laughs> I love working with the fairies. So I'm just going to put this inner transformation card next to that inner transformation card. Mm -hmm. This guy, he puts clear sight on illusion 
and delusion and lust. So whatever this is going on down here, look at these. This has got to go. Look at that. This guy's like, I'm just going to show you what's going on here. And this is kind of like the Nine of Swords, having a little bit of anxiety over the whole situation. I would imagine that you do have anxiety over the whole situation because you had it worked out, you know, this, this was the deal. You had the strength to do it. You were going to do it. Everything was fine. Nay. So we're going to need to have a transformation and you know what? New moons are a perfect time to have a transformation. In this case, it's a change of viewpoint and we are going to call upon the higher self here. Yeah. Find out what your higher self wants, needs, yearns for. Let's have one more message from the divine conversations for Capricorn. New moon, 2017, August, solar eclipse. My purpose in creating you, my spiritual offspring, was for me to know myself as God. I have no way to do that save through you. Thus it can be said and has been many times that my purpose for you is that you should know yourself as me. So you mean you should call upon your higher self and then transform your viewpoint as a spiritual being? But you might be saying, what does changing into a spiritual being have to do with this situation? You know, well, sometimes when you have an inner transformation, it's easier to manifest what you want because until you have an inner transformation, what you manifest, what you put out is what you get back. And if this is what you're putting out, guess what you're getting back. So you're going to, in order for this to go upright, this viewpoint needs to change. And even in this manner, you're still wishing upon a star. So you have to completely change your viewpoint in order for this to happen the way that you want it to. Okay, Capricorn. So new moon is this excellent time to do some viewpoint changing and I'll be back again in two weeks for your full moon reading and uh, full moons enhance what we talked about in new moon so take this time around the new moon to come up with something that you are going to take this time to call upon your higher self and figure out what it is and then throughout the new moon cycle you'll be working to change this viewpoint and then hopefully by the full moon um, we can enhance that and so with that by the next new moon you kind of be lined back out which is the purpose so I'm around I'm on Facebook Dharma Jane um, have blogs if you'd like a personal reading get in touch with me until then have a good one Capricorn